I am fully 1000% down. Rush Hour 4, man. Guys, Rush Hour 2 is one of the funniest films of all time. Hands down, it is one of the funniest films of all time. And I'm in the minority. I'm in the minority. I like Rush Hour 3. Because <laughs> there's a moment in Rush Hour 3, I think it's when Jackie Chan is basically like, then like in a live show and he comes down from like a swing or something. So there is a moment there that I was laughing so hard in the cinema, like I, I, I fell on the floor. So... Rush Hour 2 was not as good as Part 1 and 2. So Rush Hour 1 and 2. So it is, it, is, it is actually stupid how good those films are. It is stupid how funny they are. Like, that is called comedy magic because it's Chris Tucker's brand of comedy. It is Jackie Chan's also a very good brand of physical comedy. His comedic timing and, of course, his amazing, totally real, without any freaking strings, um, um, stunts that, that, that he does. And their chemistry is beautiful. Like, the chemistry of Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan is freaking beautiful. So, I'm just... And the thing with Rush Hour 4 is... It's, it's all about the scripts. But 100%, I'm so ready for a, 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 a Rush Hour 4. And I think, look... When was the last really good comedy? Strata, when was the last really good body comedy that we received? <laughs> like, the, there hasn't really been... I mean, there's not really been a really good body comedy, really. And even if there was... You can throw in 48 hours. You can... Th Guys, I'll be real with you. Because Little Weapon isn't a comedy. Little Weapon is like a drama stroke comedy, but more like a thriller. The greatest body comedy of all time is Rush Hour. Standard. It's Rush Hour. Like, Beverly Hills Cop is really just Eddie Murphy. So... Guys, I don't care what anyone says, I'm in. It's, I am freaking in. Just get the right script. Now, Brett Ratner may have been cancelled due to, to the whole Me Too thing, so I don't know whether Brett Ratner will be involved. But if the girls get a really good script, a really good story, bro, I'll be the first guy to, 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 to get my number. But, like, just a question for you guys. Rush Hour 1 or Rush Hour 2, which is your favourite? I think most people agree that Rush Hour 2 is the best in the series, but which is your personal favourite? Because I watched both recently. Rush Hour 1 is damn funny. <laughs> like, Rush Hour 1 is damn funny. <laughs> I mean, well, do you remember when um, they did a callback of the of the joke, man? Man, you never touch a Chinaman's radio. <laughs> Look, that thing's too funny, man. No, I mean, because Rush Hour 2 is just amazing. And I think the, in terms of just the story, the drama, and the comedy, and just how they made it bigger was huge. But Rush Hour 1 is funny. So <laughs> oh, it's funny, but I remember when Jackie Chan goes into that poor hole because and he's trying to basically like repeat what Chris Tucker says at the day. So that thing is too funny, man. But yeah, and do you know how I don't think we appreciate Jackie Chan enough? We don't because Jackie Chan is what you call real talent beyond just the martial arts, the crazy stunts he does with no wire work. In this age of CGI, he does it without any freaking words. It is all real. And that's why CJ will never, ever compete with what he's able to freaking do. He's actually a great comedy actor. In terms of just his comedy acting, he's really good. And he's doing it, like, in his second language. So, yeah, man. I am rush out for I'm done for it. But let me ask you guys, which one do you prefer? Not which one do you think is better. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you think is funnier? Rush out 1 or rush out 2? But rush out 4, I am fully 1,000% down.